I really need to clear off this table. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. So, the reason why I put that on there is because uh, the Muppet Julia is autistic and I know that a lot of you who are on the spectrum are super angry because uh, she's voiced by Stacey Gordon who is um, the parent of uh, a child with mild autism. However, um, I had the, the privilege to meet uh, Stacey Gordon uh, back at DragonCon last year. And upon those meetings, or upon that, those interactions with her, she is not a neurotypical. She is on the spectrum herself um, because, I mean, she's quirky. And two, um, she seems to have an atypical type of a mindset and an atypical type of uh, personality. Um, she's very similar to another uh, spectrumite who is uh, with the Future Horizons, and she has Asper kids. She's similar to one of my other favorite people, uh, Jennifer Coco Tuel, and both of them have red hair. Both of them have uh, similar types of personalities, and they're just really great. Um, what else do I have? Um, these are my tickets for the um, Autism Speaks event tomorrow at the Georgia Aquarium. And again, I'm not getting into Autism Speaks because I want to cure autism. I'm getting involved with them because I need to provide information dissemination and to educate those researchers and to also uh, educate whoever it is that's in the middle because there's just a lot of families and a lot of individuals on the spectrum that need to know that there's hope for them and need to know that they are different but not less and that needs to go on go beyond those uh, those words so but but without further delay I need to get going because I'm headed back to the airport today and waiting for the bus right now and I specifically selected to catch the earlier one for two reasons. Number one, I'm going to be stopping by a uh, gas station right by the train station because uh, I'm not only going to pick up some breakfast there but I'm also going to uh, pick up some lunch there as well. Now I bet you were wondering why in the world I'm not stopping at this gas station which is a shell. Well, Sure, the Shell has uh, some nice selections, but they don't have a lot of options for breakfast. They have more drinks and snacks. Uh, the uh, gas station I'm going to is Quick Trip or QT. And QT has just has lots of options for breakfast and lunch, and they have lots of options for drinks. You can get a bottled beverage, you can get a fountain drink, you can get coffee. I mean, sure, they have coffee here, but they just have more varieties. So that's where I'm going this morning. But uh, the other reason too why I want to uh, get the earlier bus is because B, uh, since the uh, gas station is right by Adoraville train station, or the Marta station, I could just uh, walk over or pick up another bus that uh, comes by frequently and then I can just hop on the train and head over to the airport. And I like to be at the airport as early as possible. And particularly when I'm doing these autism airport rehearsal tours, uh, 
whether wings for autism are taking flight. But um, another side note is um, I'm so proud of myself for uh, representing uh, these uh, autism airport tours that I've been involved with for almost a year now. And uh, in addition to the Wings for Autism, and also Anybody be sure to Anybody volunteer my time. Uh, no, I, no, sorry, I don't have a lighter. I don't oh, smoke. Sorry about that. You got a lighter on you, bro? But um, I'm just so proud of me to volunteer my time and not only provide information about the tours, but also to get up and to pick up uh, a phone, the phone on the plane that has uh, the, P, the PA system on it. So, yeah. But um, anyway, I am going to uh, wait for this bus now. Um, I'll have to show you more. Uh, perhaps I can get some footage of uh, me buying some items at Quick Trip, but and then waiting for the second bus and having a little breakfast. But yeah. I mean, excitement. So I just checked the MARTA schedule, and because I was here a lot earlier than uh, I normally have been in the past, uh, it looks like I will be at the uh, airport station today right around 9.30, which will be nice. It'll give me time to get on the international uh, terminal shuttle to get me from domestic to the other, and then I can have time to just kick back before the group that meets one last time this month before May. And I'm just really excited about that. But that, that isn't the only thing I have going on today. I think I told you I, um, I'm meeting with a group of folks to help me um, set some real goals in my life because I've been going through a lot of major changes. And I don't care to discuss every one of them with you right now, because I'm kind of embarrassed about it. And I just, um, there's just some things that are personal, but I will let you know that there are people in my life that are just really positive, and uh, the objective is to look at positive and possible actions. So I wanted to I'll let you know I'm doing that. I'm going to one of my favorite pizza places. I'm, which is really popular here in the South. It's called the Mellow Mushroom. And I mean, I knew about them 20 years ago when I came to visit in 96. That's how popular they were. But we never ate at Mellow Mushroom because uh, back then it was a common belief that this pizza place at Mellow Mushroom was was for druggies, that kind of a thing. But um, I go to Mellow the Mushroom and I don't get those the vibes at all. It's more of a hippy dippy, very chill, laid back place. Yes, their food is a little more expensive, but they have a pretty uh, way out, far out menu, as uh, what hippies would say. Or rather, that's surfer talk, but I'm really excited about that. So. going through the gates. I bought too many things to drink today and uh, being that I'm going to be inside the airport, I can't take any liquids past a security checkpoint, not without special clearance and special accommodations. I mean, as you know, most liquids have to be in a, um, uh, a three ounce bottles and they have to be in a clear uh, plastic bag that I've traveled so many times. I'm usually pretty good at abiding by that, but I'll tell you a little story. The last time I flew was in 2016. I went to Washington, D.C., and on my way there, I decided to catch an earlier flight so I could um, explore the city before this great big conference that we participate in every year at work. Um, I, uh, I was just putting my, my boots back on because it was winter time December and 
There was this lady uh, next to me that was in tears crying and I found out that uh, she was angry and sad because someone had, uh, or not someone, but this had given her some lotions, it was her grandmother, I guess, like she gave her some lotions as a gift and uh, she, she forgot that they were uh, past that three ounce uh, size and uh, so I went to went up to her and I asked her what was wrong and she told me and she's crying and so I just I gave her a hug and she kept saying they can't take my shit away they can't take my shit away I mean that's how uh, upset she really was but so I'm trying to drink this up before I even get to the airport and no I barely drink Diet Coke because of the aspartame and I mean I know that there's studies out there proving that uh, Diet sodas can cause dementia and things like that. So I try to keep it to a minimum. Um, I'm still having a trouble kicking my soda habit. That's why I bought the Diet Coke today. And then I bought um, I bought some cranberry juice, which I always like to have for breakfast. But I thought this Diet Coke would be better. Um, I think when I either go through security checkpoints, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll just give that cranberry juice to a TSA official and then I'll go through. Or in the middle when they're doing their talking today, their meeting, I think I'll just sit and drink that cranberry juice. episode if you like what i'm doing be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and also be sure to check me out on uh, instagram and twitter you can also find me on wordpress at hello world 240 at wordpress.com and um, also remember to um, ask me any questions about autism and I'd be happy to get back with you and also be sure to share these with anybody who is inside your autism communities and whether you're um, on the spectrum yourself or you're a parent or a, a guardian, caregiver, if you're uh, a professional like a social worker or an educator, uh, please do not hesitate to share this uh, with anybody on your social media and with your networks. Uh, the objective is to create autism awareness and autism acceptance. Now, I just figured out yesterday before I uh, sign off today what and why my vlogs are uh, similar to more day in the life vlogging. And that's because it's really popular. I just, um, I know that a lot of people on the spectrum like YouTube and they like to watch a lot of vlogs. And I wanted something that was modern and relevant that they could enjoy. I mean, they could see me uh, enjoying my own life, but they could also uh, continue to receive tips and advice too. Like today, you're seeing me uh, riding the bus to the uh, autism airport rehearsal tours. Like, I'm at the airport right now, and I'm about to get off, but thank you.